Hi, I'm State Senator Tracy McCreary. Thanks for tuning in for my weekly update. Uh, good news, one of my Senate bills, Senate Bill 1326, is on the Senate calendar. This bill would provide clarity to our a sexual assault nurse examiner hospital. So it's just something to make sure that if a survivor of sexual assault goes to a hospital that he or she has uh, proper care. And uh, I'm looking forward to that bill getting moving off of the Senate floor. Uh, there are several bills on the Senate calendar that we will uh, review and debate over the next several weeks. A few that I'm quite concerned about are some bills that would increase your utility rate. So um, I, I care deeply about protecting consumers from runaway uh, electric bills, water bills, gas bills, that kind of thing. So I just want you to know I'm keeping my eye on those bills because those are things that can help uh, these are bills that would help increase the profit of the investor-owned utilities, but increase the bills that you pay every month. Uh, next week, it, the House of Representatives will actually start debating the budget over on the House side. So the way the process works is the House will debate the bill and uh, vote on it and send it over to the state Senate. So that is the process we are, uh, that's where we are in the process right now with the budget. And the reason I talk about the budget a lot on these weekly updates is you could say that the most important thing that the legislature does every year is to put together, review, approve, and send to the governor a balanced budget. So, um, and the, the budget has to be finished and sent to the governor by May 10th. So we're, we're getting to, uh, you know, we've got maybe five weeks or so until the budget has to be sent to the governor and there's still a lot of work to be done. And the budget itself, uh, the reason why legislators care so deeply about it and why you'll, you'll hear a lot of passion around these debates is because the way the state chooses to spend its money in a way is a reflection of what we think is important or not important. Some call the budget a moral document. So I will be keeping an eye on, on things to make sure that, uh, that the state is funding the, the most essential services. There is a municipal election coming up on April 2nd in St. Louis County. Uh, no excuse absentee in-person voting is open for the upcoming April 2nd election. So I encourage you to go to the St. Louis County Board of Elections website. You can pull down a sample ballot and then you can also find the con most convenient location for you to go do that no excuse absentee in-person voting. The, I had a, an amazing week this week here in the state Senate. So, so many visitors, uh, more visitors than I can mention. Uh, there were a lot of firefighters and fire chiefs here, folks from the Immigration Policy Coalition. I met with the CEO, Molly Brown, and her team from the St. Louis Crisis Nursery. St. Louis Stages, which is one of my favorite theater groups, was in the building. There were a group of St. Louis University social work students here advocating for common sense gun laws. Speaking of common sense gun laws, there were hundreds and hundreds of people here uh, pushing and working towards passage of sensible gun laws from Moms Demand Action. And I met with uh, Tim Weeks of the public, St. Louis County Public Administrator. Uh, I met with a bunch of nurses from the Missouri Association of Hospice and Palliative Care and uh, also had a great meeting with the Farmers Union. That's a group of uh, family-owned farmers that are working to make sure state policy um, reflects their values. So, um, and, and then probably the most exciting part of my day uh, on Thursday, right before I headed back home to my Senate district, I met with a bunch of MICDS fourth graders that were in the building to learn about state government. So that was a really, really exciting visit. Um, I think there were close to 40 students and uh, though it was just a really great reminder to me why I wanna be a state senator and why I'm working to make Missouri a better place to live and work and raise kids. So thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to you next week.